Hi, my name is Anamika Hops, and this is The Art Friend Show, where every conversation focuses on getting to know the essence of creativity itself. I'd love to invite you as well to join me inside of Art Friends School, where we go deeper into these topics and join in with other art friends around the world. Thanks so much for joining us, and let's get to the show. Welcome to The Art Friend Show. Here's an artist you're gonna wanna know. It's actually gonna be me today. My name's Anamika. I'm an artist here in Portland, Oregon, and I'm gonna talk about my work today. It's day 35 of going live 100 days in a row, and I'm doing this project to create The Art Friend Show, which will be a podcast, a YouTube channel, and it will help to um, bring people into this um, thing I do, which is mentoring and uh, teaching visual artists how to make their own work. So I want to tell you about what I do. So I'm going to start with my own paintings and show you the series that I'm currently working on because I'm really excited about it. Um, so this is a portrait of my friend Jules that I made last night. And there's definitely um, a lot of flowers in my work. And that, I can tell you where they come from. But I'm really excited about this one because the rest of my work as a creative mentor, as, you know, as someone, I, I taught a group of people how to do batik painting. When I was 17, I taught a workshop. And ever since then, I've been teaching adults painting, creative process, um, all kinds of things. And so I've been teaching for over 20 years now. And I love sharing the creative process with people and had an epiphany recently that while I also love flowers and could play with patterns and flowers forever and studied botany for years, people are like the center of my work. So. This, to me, this painting that I made last night really represents an important pivot and kind of synthesis of things in my own visual art. So I'm really, like, really excited about this. And I'm going to do more in this direction. Yeah. And so this one was born as a part of this series that I'm currently finishing up for a show that installs April 15th here in Portland. And here's another one. I'm really excited about this painting, mostly for the colors and the texture. If you'll see, it's right here behind me. And maybe I can zoom in a bit. It's a bit blurry, but you kind of get the drift. The sense of um, intricate repeat pattern and texture is, Something that I've always, whoa, that's close up. Hello. <laughs> I've always been drawn to. And this, like, I was jumping up and down when I completed this piece a few nights ago because this is something I've been thinking through in my head for a long time. Um, this piece over here behind me is not done, but it's in the same style. So I'm working on building up this really rich multi layered imagery that'll end up being like this. So I'm definitely a maximalist when it comes to color and texture and pattern. And yeah, I'm working on a series of, well, it's a, it's a minimum of 10 paintings that I'm completing for this show, but I always like to overshoot and create a few extra so that there's a chance to curate the collection. And um, I know that even the ones I install on April 15th will be like the beginning of this body of work that is to be made over the spring and summer. So that's a bit about my personal art. I could show you, gosh, a lot more um, some other time. I have paintings all around here. Um, but I also want to talk about what I do professionally as a mentor in the art community because it dawned on me yesterday while I was interviewing Darren Todd and that I like 
I could talk about this every single day, and I think a lot of people don't know. Um, and it dawned on me that nobody's going to, um, nobody's going to like give me this job unless I keep talking about it. So what I do professionally is I am a mentor with other visual artists in this niche. I also occasionally mentor writers and musicians, but it's generally if they're visual thinkers because I have developed a mentoring curriculum that helps people make, like helps people generate, create, and then edit a new body of work and then I help them debut it as a part of the program. And for each artist that looks different, I've taught this as a one-on-one -on -one mentoring program for a long time now. I developed it as a group program and I will be offering it again as a group program very soon if you're interested. I will always offer it as one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and so it's really powerful. It's a, a three-month container I have developed these assignments since 2018, thanks to um, many, many artists who have gone through my program. And every single person has breakthroughs in owning their own voice, in you know really understanding their process, and almost, well, it's, the assignment is creating a chocolate chip cookie recipe for your art, so you really understand what your natural workflow is and what your natural um, where you get stuck and what your tools are and what you love and how to go forward forever for the rest of your life and then we you know create the body of work and we also cover all the foundations of visual art theory so that you have the you know the power the empowerment of of a common language to talk about your work forever more and we edit the collection and each artist has a different goal in terms of their actually what they make but also where they want to debut it so for example, some people want to have a more traditional debut where they have a show, it's perhaps in a gallery or in an event space and people come and they sell original art. I help them do that. Other people want to launch an online shop and debut that with a big sale and launch an announcement and all of that. Other people like to um, submit a book proposal, that has happened several times, or um, pitch to publications, almost everyone um, as one of the assignments starts to pitch their work to jury shows, uh, grants, residencies, print publications, other types of media, and just get it out there in bigger venues. So essentially what I do professionally is I've created this mentoring program for visual artists to create and debut a new body of work. It's absolutely like it, it is enthralling, it is invigorating. I, 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 sometimes I'm just so astonished that that's what I get to do professionally. And um, part of why I'm going live every single day for 100 days is to learn how to create an ongoing, efficient, generous way of making sure the world knows about it. Because it'd be great if I was always working with, you know, three private clients maybe one or two mastermind groups, and then sharing the lessons just this way, freely, generously, um, all year round. So I'm creating the Art Friend Show um, with the intention of all these conversations helping to hone my business in the next iteration, turn this into a podcast and a YouTube channel, um, maybe even a TV show or a book would be so fun eventually. And then all of that helps feed back into my year-round offering where I do mentoring and I can start to teach all these concepts that have been kind of like developed and you know really behind a paywall like all my really juicy stuff I can start teaching them really freely on here more in-depth um, in a membership way and then run small mastermind groups and continue to work one-on-one -on -one. so that's what I'm um, paid the most to do. My one-on-one -on -one mentoring is $6,000 for three months and it's a massive, life-changing, totally wonderful thing to do on both our ends. We make a huge commitment to each other and um, what that looks like, like for example today is one of my response days, so twice a week on, now it's on Tuesdays and Fridays, I log in, I look at each client's um, private channel. We have a, a 
we have a tool that we use to communicate and they send me pictures, videos, audio, written updates, links, um, anything they're working on in their mentorship with the assignments or otherwise related to their art or art career. They put it in there and then I go through each channel and generally record a video um, giving them on the spot feedback. Sometimes I'll take their work and like draw on it, send it back or um, talk through suggestions or if they're doing, you know, the artist statement lessons and stuff, I'll, I'll, I'll write. But I correspond with all my clients twice a week and then I also meet with them live once a week. And so that'll happen tomorrow. That's typically on Wednesdays. I meet with my private clients and we, um, it's essentially a one-on-one -on -one mentorship and we use that time to help them um, pinpoint things for the week ahead. And then they have assignments that, like I said, I've been developing um, that help walk them through this process. And those there's uh, 10 major core assignments in the three months. And what I'm doing now is I'm helping um, my virtual assistant, wonderful right-hand fellow artist, helping me in my business for many years, Leslie Costin and I, are helping to take all that curriculum and we're going to build it into a platform where I can start teaching it year round in a, um, it won't be one-to-one, -one, but I'm gonna teach it year round in a membership style so you can work your way with me through those lessons and with each other. And um, then if you want to, you can do like the high level, higher level group mastermind or you can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, that's what I do, that's what I, get up for in the morning. I freaking love it. It is the best thing ever to work deeply with artists in their own process. And it's just something I've, you know, I've been doing it since forever. I was so excited to share um, art with people that I started teaching when I was 17. And, and I still run into people around Portland that are, like Jason, um, who will be like, you taught me painting, batik painting, when you were 17. Remember that? And um, I've been doing it ever since. So yeah, that's, that's what I do. And if you're an artist and you would love that kind of encouragement, that deep container, I would love to meet you and work with you. It's my specialty and my absolute joy. And I'm really freaking good at it at this point, <laughs> I have to say, like unabashed. Um, and yeah, I have capacity in April for one more private client, maybe two. Um, let's look at let's look at it together, and then I'm going to be launching my membership, which which won't allow me to have private clients for a while. So if you're if you've been thinking about getting in as a private client, now would be the time. Because once I'm full on the roster of private clients, I'll just have a wait list while I, you know, put energy into this year round program. But I'm guiding several private clients through their three months right now. So it's a good time to start another one, maybe two private clients in April. Great. Um, it's really fun to get to be here every single day doing the art friend show meeting all these other artists i learn something every single day if you have questions please it's as you can tell it's my joy to to share to be as transparent as possible to mine my own creative experience and human experience for things that are useful to you so if you have questions about things send me a message or you can comment right here if you want everyone to see the answer and I'll do my best to hook you up with an answer or resource or whatever. Yeah, um, and I'm just as excited as, as everyone to see this new body of paintings come together. And I suppose any chance I get, I should shout out to the Regional, uh, Regional Arts and Culture Council who gave me a grant that is partially sponsoring this work. So it allowed me to get, um, going on this new body of work. So I will be crediting them when I do debut this work in April. And to a couple of people in my audience who actually contributed at the beginning of this, I did a 100 day project of just painting every day, which I think I'm now on day 87 of. And I had a few sponsors of that at the beginning too. So thank you if you're watching, I, I see you. Thank you for constantly and always investing in and believing in your creative work, my creative work, both as 
a working artist myself and as a mentor to our fellow artists. This has been, this has been episode, oh gosh, I think I just said 30, day 35 of this, the Art Friend Show. And again, I'm Anamika. I'm here in Portland, Oregon. You can work with me virtually. You can actually, if you're local, you can come right here for your sessions. And I would love to see you in my mentoring program, whether it's one-on-one, -on -one, in a group, or in my new kind of um, more affordable year-round offering as I build it. Let me know if you're interested and I'll add you to the top of the um, early registration list. And if you're interested in paintings, if you're looking for a big old painting, let me know, because um, I will be, um, even though these are getting installed, it's perfectly fine to sell them to my audience as long as they can be shown in the venue. So if you have a crush on this one like I do, let me know. Okay, great. Yay. Thank you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye. I'd love to have you inside of Art Friends School, where we go deeper into these topics. Follow the link that's in the show notes or find it on my website at onamika.com. 